Submarine's a bit chilly today, team. Hats on. It's important to have a good support system at sea. My grandfather, Jacques Cousteau, knew how valuable friends were. Beautiful specimens, aren't they? I've got a pistol shrimp and goby fish in this bag. These two are in a mutualistic, symbiotic relationship, which means they depend on each other for survival. Here's how it works. The pistol shrimp is an amazing digger, but nearly blind. The goby fish likes living in ocean floor tunnels, but can't dig. The goby has great eyesight, the shrimp has a great digging claw. They're a perfect match. These two pair up, and as the shrimp digs, the goby keeps watch for predators. Once they pair, they're inseparable. And that's the deal. The goby gets a home, and the shrimp gets a seeing eye fish. Scientists aren't sure how these two find each other in the first place. It could be a chemical or an optical attraction. Either way, it's a beautiful thing. Look at it out there. It looks calm, doesn't it? It's actually swarming with microscopic life. And it's like my grandfather Jacques Cousteau used to say. Everyone always talks about fish and whales. Let's talk about phytoplankton. They're small. It's estimated that in every teaspoon of seawater, there's about 100,000 of them. But you need a microscope to see them. They're the unsung heroes of our ocean. More than half the oxygen in our atmosphere is thanks to phytoplankton. And today, we'll learn about two types. Let's talk about coccolithophores. Every day in the ocean, they're battling viruses and bacteria, and each time they die, they release a little puff of oxygen into the atmosphere. If you were to look down from space, you could see this immense battlefield full of trillions of their dead. Ever heard of the White Cliffs of Dover? Made up of dead coccolithophore skeletons. Romantic, isn't it? And now, dinoflagellates. These are responsible for bioluminescent waters, or glowing oceans. They're also responsible for blood-red tides. When dinoflagellates bloom, they turn the water a deep crimson red. These red tides are dangerous and responsible for loss of ocean and possibly human life. Phytoplankton giveth, taketh in return. <laughs>